Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, May 21st, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have again this beautiful painting by Sergio Coder, and I want to get it into the frame of the picture well enough. I hope this is good. So in this painting, we see the risen Christ is, co is cooking breakfast on the beach, but the brilliance of this painting is that we are the risen Christ. We don't actually see him. What we see is the response of the disciples as they draw closer to the shore. So we have Peter here, who is in the center. And then I noticed today that on the boat in the right, the man in the forefront who's standing up is actually shielding his eyes from the brightness of the risen Christ and the fire. We don't know what Jesus looked like in the resurrection form, but Sergio Coder clearly felt that there was a lot of light involved, almost blindingly so. Today is our day of worship and we continue in the Gospel of John. Jesus is praying to God the Father before he departs and this is the last Sunday of the season of Easter He's asking that God would glorify him, give him courage, but also that God would protect us. And then he says, so that we may be one as he and the Father are one. So Jesus had a goal that we would learn to communicate with one another, that we would learn to get along, to reconcile, to forgive, to honor one another. Can you imagine? And I think it's up to all of us to try to work towards this vision because it, it is the darkness of our nature that causes division, discord, conflict, hatred, animosity. And so we always have to work against that darker nature. And it happens often in small steps. Maybe you read an article that you disagree with. Maybe you watch a television channel, a news channel, and just listen. Maybe you call someone that you don't really like. But what if today we tried to move closer to unity, especially with those with whom we disagree? It's a good exercise. It's what Jesus prayed for for us, for protection and for unity. So what if we work a little harder to try to get along? Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this season of Easter that is coming to a close, and we ask that you would prepare us for the arrival of the Holy Spirit. Open our hearts and minds, and help us today to work towards unity, maybe in some small way to understand or listen to someone who offends us even, or with whom we disagree. Help us to take steps towards reconciliation on this day.